So, um, what we're going to do today and tomorrow is get a little bit better acquainted with some really great artists. Um, today we're going to talk about kind of the king of modern cello playing, Pablo Casals. And we're going to talk about his most famous student, who was a great child in his own right, Gaspar Casado. And um, I wanted to, maybe some of you heard me say this yesterday, what I want to do is, I want you to understand how this all came about. Um, I got very interested when I was a young teacher at Peabody, where I taught um, from 1970 to 74. Um, at, I had a very good friend there who was the principal of the violin teacher there named Burl Sanofsky. Burl was a wonderful violinist who had won the gold medal at um, the Queen Elizabeth competition. He was the first American to win a gold medal, I think, in Brussels. And Leon Fleischer also did too, but I think he was just a bit later. In any case, uh, Burl and I and others used to get together often to play string quartets just for fun. And the other thing that we did was that we would listen to recordings of older players because we really, really loved that. And we would get into long discussions, sometimes even arguments about, that's an up bow he plays. And no, I think he's using third finger or something like that. And then, speaking in the violin world, I would sometimes be teaching somebody and i say, well, you have to make a slide like Fritz Kreisler. And there would be this blank look on the people's faces. And I said, do you know whom I'm talking about? Uh, isn't he the guy who wrote Schoen Rosmarin? Was usually the answer, something like that. I said, yeah. I said, uh, do you know anything more about it? No. Uh, do you know what instrument? Well, I guess violin. Did you ever hear his playing? No. Well, that prompted me to um, begin to develop some talks, which eventually uh, became a full-fledged academic course. And uh, this, I think I, I don't think I ever taught it at Peabody. Did I? Well, I don't think so. But by the time I got to NEC, which was 1974, soon thereafter, I said, this is something that really is necessary. I went through the curriculum committees and all of that. And it's a course that I still teach uh, every fourth semester, so every other year for one semester. And in that course, I start with the, it's really a relationship of the history of string playing and recorded sound. And the first person that we talk about was Joseph Joachim, who was born in the 1830s, and who was a very close friend of Johannes Brahms. In fact, the Brahms, the violin concerto was written for him, the double concerto was written for him. And he, he was the person who very often was the first violinist in groups that played first performances of chamber music by Brahms, or the sonatas, or whatever. And he made some recordings in his early 70s in 1903. Now, there may be an occasional wax cylinder or something like that from earlier, but that is more or less where I consider that the, the history of recorded sound of great string playing begins. And I developed this course, and in the, in the semester courses, I found that it was interesting to talk about a series of great players, including four cellists. And those four cellists are people that I'm going to talk about today and tomorrow. Uh, Pablo Casals, Gaspar Casado today, Emmanuel Foyman, and Gregor Pedagoski tomorrow. And uh, interwoven, they were interwoven along with a whole bunch of violinists leading up to, as far as I had time for, uh, a last talk, including Leonid Kogan and W. Wishka. Um, it's, you know, Francis Scott is sometime around that era, which, you know, was not modern at all. But my goal about that was to get people to listen better so that they would know how to do what they wanted to do and that they would know what they were listening for. My purpose
purpose here is not so much that, but I hope that is uh, an outcome of it. My purpose here is mostly to have some fun with you and to let you know more, maybe some details that are not written in books, some uh, nasty details or whatever, or, uh, gossipy details about these great artists. 